I'm Tim Joyce. I'm the retail director, and I run the Old Town School Music Store at the Old Town School of Folk Music in Chicago. Along with regular acoustic guitars, we try to have as many other interesting acoustic instruments as we can. And one of our favorites here in the store is the resonator guitar. Um, the history of the resonator goes back to the early part of last century when there were Dixieland, you know, jazz bands would play, and they had the banjo, you know, the four-string banjo, the the horns and, and the upright bass and the drums, and then the guitar sort of came into favor again, and it wasn't loud enough in that setting. So what happened is the Dopiero brothers sort of came up with this system where they, they made a cone inside the guitar, you know, just a regular guitar, and what it ends up doing is projecting the sound out and making the guitar louder. So the, um, you, you've got the regular acoustic guitar resonator that sort of you play just like an acoustic guitar, and then there's a... Uh, dobro resonator and we'll take a look at one of those and that's the one that's more commonly played with the bar like a slide guitar. When you're looking at a resonator guitar like this for example it's always gonna have a cover plate and then the the speaker or, or the cone is gonna lie underneath the cover plate on some sort of bridge system either a spider bridge like this one or a biscuit bridge which is a little bit more closed off sounding. Um, other common for this particular style it's gonna have a square neck because uh, it's played in your lap and also the strings are going to be extremely high off the, uh, the fretboard because you, uh, you need to get in there with your finger picks and in there with the bar too. Uh, this here instrument is a, is a Paul Beard resonator guitar. Uh, Paul Beard's also out on the East Coast, similar to some of our other boutique makers that we carry here in the store. But he specializes in resonator instruments. He's been doing so, I believe, since, since around the 70s. Um, and he's a, a small factory, not even a factory really, it's just a, some guys making resonator guitars out on the East Coast. Uh, again, small runs and extreme attention to detail. His setups are, are, are unparalleled. I mean, they're, they're probably some of the best setup instruments. The, the strings are super high at the bridge, uh, so they drive the cone really hard, making them a little bit louder. Um, and then also his finishes are kind of, kind of um, really tasty, really nice finishes, really cool bursts. Um, his, again, his joints and, and the miter work on the sides and the corners with the binding is just extremely, extremely well done.